Hey everyone and welcome back to Inside Wire. Today we're going to continue our Ubiquiti series by looking at the Unified Protect Network Video Recorder. This is an enterprise grade piece of equipment which can be used in both the home or the office. If you're just looking to add some additional storage to your recordings, this is exactly what you need. It has four expansion bays that can house 8TB drives in a RAID 5 configuration. To give you a rough idea how much that is, it will store approximately 30 days worth of 4K video recording for 15 cameras and at full HD approximately 50 cameras. For the unit itself, the connections on it are very simple. There's a 1 10 gig SFP Plus port, there's a 1 gig Ethernet port and there's support for the smart redundant power supply. Unfortunately, as it stands, you can only use Ubiquiti cameras with this model. It doesn't support any others, so you'll be using the G3 or the G4 cameras. If you're new here, be sure to hit the subscribe button. If you enjoy the video, give me a thumbs up and give, leave me a comment in the section below. All products used today are in the description below with my Amazon affiliate link. Feel free to check them out if you wanna have a look or even if you're looking to buy them. At the end of the video, feel free to look at my playlist which has all of my other Ubiquiti videos on there. So let's kick off by starting and unboxing the unit. So this is the box for the NVR. Um, it has a little picture on the front and the UI logo. We turn the box over and we have a quick look at the back. We can see it has all the details, the features, what's included within the package and the front and back view. So what we're going to do, we're going to open this up and I actually have four uh, two terabyte drives to install in this machine. So let's quickly open this up and we can have a look at how to install this and the actual machine itself. So inside it has the box, which I'm sure it has all the bits and pieces that we need in there. And inside here is the actual NVR itself. So this is the machine itself, with the front of it, you can see we have the four uh, two and a half and three and a half inch bays for your drives. Um, this currently supports up to eight terabytes. Um, I have known people to install slightly bigger drives in this, so um, there are people that have managed to install 10 terabytes and still have it working successfully. So on the back of it, you can see there's some, the, some fans in here. Um, you've got the redundant smart power supply, you've got the gigabit network port, um, your SFP plus port and your um, power into the unit. So let's have a quick look at the box to see what comes inside here. Um, let's bring this back into shot. So inside here you get your European power supply again. Um, again, inside the box that it comes with, there is a UK power supply, so you don't need to buy an additional one of these. Uh, there's a quick start guide here. This looks like the screws. Uh, yeah, just like the UDM Pro, so very nicely presented. Um, you've got your feet, you've got your rack um, clips, screws, and your hard drive screws within here. We'll pop that to the side. Uh, and I think the last bit is you have your rack ears, so um, if you want to rack mount the unit, you have your rack ears to pop them in. And I think, I don't think there's actually anything else within here, so we'll pop that to the side. So as I mentioned earlier, I have four two terabyte drives to install, so I'll just pop these on the side of the unit. That one there. So let's go ahead and install them. So I think it's fairly similar to the UDM Pro. There's a little sticker on the front. We can peel that off, pop the drive, and then it just comes out. So it quickly pops out with no issues. Um, again, it looks exactly the same as the UDM Pro. It's, it's not completely made of plastic. This is all metal. Um, and this is the only plastic bit I can see on here. So actually on the drive bay itself it shows you how to install a two and a half inch drive right here and a three and a half inch drive right here the three and a half inch drive seems to clip in by itself so let's give it a go so let's try and install the drive on here so we just pop the drive on this side and it should I say it should clip in just like that so we go in on this side and then it pops in 
on this side and it's a self removal so there's a little pull tab on the side there so if you ever want to remove the drive you can take it out there and for an extra bit of security you can pop a screw in just here which is within your pack so I'm just going to go ahead and quickly do that so within the screw pack there is I believe there are some additional screws so there's some smaller screws for your two and a half inch drive and there's some bigger screws just here so we want to take one of these and we just want to pop this on the side just there and we can go ahead and just screw that in and then once we've done that we just grab the drive and it is a case of just popping it back in and there we go that's the drive installed on here so I'm going to quickly go ahead and install the rest of these drives and then we can power up the unit. And there we have it, that's all four drives installed on the machine. So as you can imagine, there's a, a fair amount of weight to this now, having two, having four three and a half inch drives in there. It was a fairly heavy unit initially, but it does add a fair bit of weight on there. So let's get this powered up and let's have a look on the Unify Protect software. The NVR has been plugged into the UDM Pro. So what we need to do now is go to our U, uh, UDM Pro. So let's go to unify.ui.com. Um, it doesn't look right. Unify.ui.com. That will take us to the login page. I'm already logged in, so I don't need to re-log in again. If you don't have a UDM Pro, you can do the same thing. Just go to network.unify.ui.com. If you have a Unify... If you have a UDM Pro, it will ask you to use the network link. If you don't, you can continue with the unify.ui.com. So if we quickly jump on, so we already have Protect installed on the UDM Pro, um, which what I am actually gonna do is go on to the network controller. We look at the devices. You can see that the NVR doesn't pop up here, but if we go to clients, you can actually see the Unify NVR is right here um, so we're going to actually log directly onto this if you want to see a quick map of how it is like I said it's not it's just plugged straight into the dream machine which is right here um, so let's go so let's go back and get that IP address so let's go to clients so we're looking at this one so 192.168.1.178 so let's go 192.168.1.178 and here we go. So it takes you to through a similar setup to the UDM Pro. Um, we're going to call this UNVR um, Office. Going to agree to the terms and conditions and click next. So it asks you to sign in again to get, set up the remote access and it can pop your details onto there. Oh, it doesn't look right. We go it's better so updates we can go every day at 3 a.m um, it's entirely up to you how often you want this it will check you can disable it you can set it weekly it just, it's just going to check to make sure and keep your network up to date so we click next um, if you want to send your diagnostics and performance information to unify for them to use you can highlight this if not click next and pretty much here it shows you your location um, and it basically tells you all about your NPR. So then we click finish and then it's going to go off and set up the device. So we'll let that do that. Your device is updated. You should see the uh, protect button pop up on the, U, uh, the UNVR um, for the office. So let's have a look at this interface. Let's jump into users so we can manage all the users in here. You can see my admin role here. Um, if you want to add a user, add a batch of users or import users from a CSV, you can do that on the right hand side and you have your admins and groups. So depending on whatever you want to do from there. So we then have settings of the, of the uh, NVR. So we can see who the owner is, what the uptime is, 
Um, if we click on application, we can check for the updates for the, and it will give you your location if you select the location button. So if we go to advanced, you can then see on here, SSH, whether you want it enabled, which we probably do, but it will ask you to set a password. Device name, if you want to rename the device and what release channel you want it on, along with restarting the device, powering off, factory reset, and the support file. So if we go back here on to protect, and we can jump straight into here. Uh, we have no cameras added, but as I had earlier, we had a quick camera on here, so we can add that device. It is just looking at my Unify devices, um, and it will be adopting, and it will give it an IP address. Okay, and that is adopted, so we can go to the live view. So I, I've done a review of the um, the the Unify Protect interface. Um, feel free to check that video out in my playlist. So one thing I didn't highlight to you on the um, on the general tab is the performance down here. So you can see the performance, uh, CPU temperature, how good it is, whether it's hot, how much memory is being used, the hardware, and the more important part is how uh, healthy your RAID array is. So you can see the internal storage is um, very minimally used, so you can see this bar progresses as more and more gets recorded. Um, I installed four two terabyte hard drives, but you can actually see um, six terabytes of usable space. And like I said, it gives you an automatic configuration of RAID 5. Um, I'll quickly dive into this a little bit at the end of the video, so stay tuned and I'll, I'll tell you about the RAID options that Unify give you. Uh, then we have the client configuration itself, so we have a DHCP address, what it's picked up, a fallback address, um, the net mask, and if you want to use SFP, um, you can use that as well. These are hot swappable drives on the RAID array, so if one ever dies, you just plug it, unplug it and plug it back in again and it will rebuild the RAID array. It will tell you your RAID array is in a degraded state um, or unhealthy and you can swap out your drive from there or if you want to completely wipe and erase your RAID array everything on there you can just erase and format. And that's all the settings in the NVR. I hope you've enjoyed this video, if so give me a thumbs up and again don't forget to subscribe to my channel. So as I mentioned in the setup I will talk about the RAID options for this unit and there are only two, RAID 1 and RAID 5. Now without going into too much technical details of the levels of RAID, just note that if you install two hard drives you will get a RAID 1 configuration which is a mirror and if you install three or four drives you will get a RAID 5 setup. This seems to be automated within the software with no control over it whatsoever. So just keep that in mind when you're deciding what size drives to order. If there's something you want me to take a closer look at, drop me a comment in the section below. This is Inside Wire and I'll see you in the next one.